How you doing? I'm doing all right. It's a beautiful evening. The stars sure are out. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Poof. Who are you? I am your shoulder angel, John. Here, allow me to just... <laughs> Bear with me. These robes are... John, I come to you at this critical juncture with words of warning. Do not do this. Well, uh, let's do this? Do not do this. Let's th do this. No. What's the matter, Billy? You're not getting cold feet on me, are you? I just got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, John, I'm needed elsewhere. <laughs> Ooh. Billy. Do nah, it. let's do this. No. Here are the blueprints if you want to take a look. Yep. See, we got to watch out for the cameras on point A and point B. What? What about looking out for your soul? Pet point soul. Okay. John, give me those blueprints. Those are the devil's papers. <laughs> do what is right. Hey, guys. The uh, getaway car is ready. Hey, little Tim. Check these out. No, no, don't check them out, little Tim. No, think about your little soul. <laughs> little Tim. <laughs> Are you packing? What is this? Completely inappropriate. Okay, little Tim, uh, uh, just wait for me <laughs> to get to you. I... You gotta want it. Lil Tim. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. You leave me no choice. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I can do this. I've never stolen anything before. Dude, just act natural. It's, it's easy. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am your shoulder devil, Jason. Here, allow me to just climb upon <laughs> your shoulder. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I envisioned this going differently. <laughs> oh. 
Maybe your friend could help me <laughs> rise above the difficulties. <laughs> Lift me in a dignified manner. Very slick. <laughs> Jason, thievery is fun. There are all kinds of things you can steal. Money, cars, dinner mints at fancy restaurants. You gonna do this or what, man? That bit of honey ain't gonna steal itself. He's right, Jason. It's just a bit of honey. No one will even notice it's gone. Well, I guess one time won't hurt. <laughs> it most certainly will. I mean, you're right. <laughs> Cut <Cara>, well done. <laughs> nice, man. OK, next time we should do something bigger, like a bike or a turkey. Yes, your friend has the spirit of the Did he say a turkey? <laughs> Guys, I'm not stealing anymore. This was a one-time thing. Oh. oh, no, Jason, come on. It, it, it's easy. Oh, hey, that old lady just dropped a $5 bill. Go pick it up before she notices. Yes. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to steal from an old lady that's messed up. Oh, come on. Those are the easiest people to steal from. <laughs> I'll help you, Jason. Just move towards the Luca. <laughs> so almost in reach. You have to want it. Where's it's happening. <laughs> oh, sweet gluttony. Oh. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Oh, my dear boy, did you fall while trying to return this money to me? How refreshingly honest. Yeah. <laughs> you keep it, but remember, virtue is its own reward. <laughs> Who was that, the female Gandhi? <laughs> well, being honest has its benefits. <laughs> uh, no, Jason, it was a fluke. That kind of thing doesn't even happen in Canada. <laughs> I, uh, I saw what you did for that old lady. That was really sweet of you. So here's my number. So call me, perhaps. That's just not fair. Jason, I don't want you calling her. She's far too righteous. Give me the number. Well, no, you can't make me do anything. You're right, Jason. I can't. Give it to me. Where is it? Where is the number? I must have. Is this bit of honey delicious? I don't know, Jason. Maybe you're right about that honesty stuff. No, move to James. Shimmy. <laughs> you are mine, James. You are mine. Um. <laughs> Ow. What? Behold the awesome power of temptation. You know what? I'm starting to feel warm and fuzzy inside. Let's go pay for that candy. Yeah, me too. What? No, boys, you just need to become more calloused. Quick, kill that dog. What? <laughs> no, we're not going to kill a dog. That's messed up, man. Let's go pay for that candy and move to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I'm sure there's someone else I can persuade. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> Get behind me, shoulder devil. OK, I pick James. OK, uh, we want Jeremy. Yeah. Adam. Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, great. Sean's here. Uh... Hey, sorry I'm late, guys. I I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's cool. Of course we're going to want Steven. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We got stuck with Sean last time. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. I promise. I'll try really hard this time. I promise. Come here, Sean. Just try not to embarrass us, OK? Yeah, don't get near the hoop yeah. or the ball. Yeah, just maybe you can play point guard or something, OK? <laughs> hey, Sean, if you need a little extra edge on the court, you should try some of these. Oh, uh, I don't know, man. Poof.
Who are you? I am your shoulder, good heavens. I just came to see if you needed some help, but clearly you have everything covered, so I... Um... Actually, no, um, I, I, I think I could use your help. It's like someone put a pair of pants on a ladder. <laughs> okay, Sean, allow me to just... The air is so much thinner up here. <laughs> Sean, just say no. No thanks, Stephen. Very good, Sean. I'm proud of you. I would usually jump down at this point, <laughs> but I don't want to break my spine. <laughs> would you mind if I just slowly... Oh, man, here comes your mom. There you are, young man. I have been worried sick. Sean, I don't deserve this. I, the woman who spent 36 hours in labor bringing all of you into this world. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not about to go and play basketball again, are you? Sean, we've been over this. You need to focus on your education so you can take over your father's business of test driving smart cars. <laughs> well, why are you dressed this way? I wouldn't tell the truth, man. Oh, you will pay for this, Stephen. <laughs> Give me your body. <laughs> A little closer. So, uh, what should I do? Don't lie. <laughs> okay, Mom, I, look, I was gonna play basketball because I really like it. Fine, but when you grow up and get a real job, you'll wish you hadn't spent so much time playing games. <laughs> also, I don't want you hanging out with Steven anymore. He gave me some pills for a headache last week, and they worked, but I haven't slept in six days, so. <laughs> Just something to think about. While I'm up here, is there any other moral dilemma I can help you with? Because seriously, I'm not climbing back up here for at least a month. I think I'm good. Okay. Thanks for your help, man. No problem. Hey, Sean, have you ever vandalized a building? No! <laughs> How was your summer? Oh, it was so good. Actually, um, I grew my hair out, and I'm not sure if I like it. Oh, I'm sure it looks great. Okay, wait, check this out. Okay. 
Here we go. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a mullet. It's a mullet. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? I, um, <laughs> I, I like it. Really? Um... Poof! Who are you? I am your shoulder angel, Stacy. Here, allow me to just... Oh, you are just the right height for this. <laughs> no complications today. <sighs> Stacy, I sense that you have been telling lies. Uh, okay, we didn't just ask my opinion on a new haircut. All right, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad, it's almost beautiful. Uh-huh. <laughs> but ultimately still just very bad. Exactly. Okay, so do I tell her the truth? No, I mean, yes. I'm pretty sure that lies should never be told. However, if she knew the whole truth, she might literally die. <laughs> okay, don't you mean figuratively? Trust me, I know the difference. <laughs> All right, then what do I do? Maybe you could just buy her a nice hat? Uh, or a turban? <laughs> Okay, no, I mean, what do I tell her? Is it okay to lie to someone if it's to protect them? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm your shoulder angel. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, but I already have one, so... Uh... Yeah, hello, yeah. shoulder occupado. <laughs> no, Stacy, I'm not your shoulder angel. I'm his. What? <laughs> Oh, Allow uh, me to just... Brace yourself, Stacy. <laughs> um, no. uh, uh, madam, I... You know, I, I don't know how many soldier people I can support here. There aren't any more of you, are there? I don't want a Russian nesting doll thing going on here. Okay, we'll just finish the protocol here. Uh, uh, Stacy, a little help. If you could just... What? There it is. Yes, okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. Now me... Watch the halo. Ooh. So this is what it's like. <laughs> Okay, hotshot, what exactly is the right call here? That woman has a veritable abomination on her head. <laughs> she wants to know what we think about it. Okay. Um, here, hand this to Stacy. It's almost always the correct response for these kinds of things. Um, hey, Whitney, you always look beautiful to me. Oh, uh, huh? you're good. <laughs> Hi, welcome to McDougal's. Can I take your order? Yeah, I'll have uh, Mc. Double with cheese and a large cup. Okay, that'll be 385 out of 10. Here you go. Whoa, that guy gave me way too much change. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm your shoulder, Angel James. Now if you just take a knee here. I, yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That was a lot easier. Yeah, right? Uh, now, James, you need to return that money. Isn't your integrity worth more than a few extra dollars? Oh, man. I dropped the burger. Can I still serve it? <laughs> Poof. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Jason. I'm your shoulder devil. Here, allow me to just... <laughs> yeah. 
Jason, nobody saw what you did. You're safe. Put the McDougal on the tray and pretend like it never happened. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. What? All right, I'll do it. What? I knew this day would come. <laughs> Hold on, James. Someone else needs my help. Hold on, Jason. Someone else needs my evilness. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you. Where's the usual guy? It's his day off. Good. I never liked him anyway. <laughs> Gonna need that arm back, Kevin. <laughs> there it is. Now, Jason, 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 you shouldn't serve this food. But I only dropped it for a second. What? I don't care that you dropped it. I'm just saying you shouldn't serve this food. It's incredibly unhealthy. James, just take the money and go. It's not your fault Mr. Incompetent there gave you the wrong change. Hey. Sorry, I didn't realize you could hear me. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll do, do it. Good. Good. Wait, Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh, you're the worst. Uh, coming back, Jason. <laughs> products, maybe. Okay. Oh, caffeine-free Utah. Bring me back. Listen, Blondie. How about I keep Mr. Incompetent and you can keep the guy with the strange body odor? Hey. Sorry, I forgot you were right here. All right, listen. You gave me too much change. Here's your burger. It dropped on the ground, but to be honest, it's probably not the worst thing that Beef Patty's been through. Honesty prevails. You may have won the battle, Blondie, but the war is far from... Is that a dollar menu? Oh, no. My fellow Americans, today I'm pleased to announce that we are making great strides in our efforts. Our progress has not been won without sacrifice. But as I oh, excuse me, who are you? I am the president's to shoulder you angel. There will Here, be allow me to do it. No, this is important. Our agenda. Given that we know that the legacy we leave for our children and our children's children cannot be one of defeat nor of discouragement, but rather of a hope for a brighter future. And not only a hope, but a promise as well. But not only a promise but a solution to the problems wrought by broken promises and the sorrows of unfulfilled hopes. Even though the road may be difficult and many obstacles block the way, yet still, we look beyond those challenges and find ways around them or over them, or if we must, through them. And we can and we will. Because America is not the land of small dreams and tiny ambitions, but instead a land where any man or woman can ultimately create their own destiny and rise 
to the level of their ingenuity, sweat, and tears, and stand counted as another testament Thank you. that the American dream is still alive and well today for all those with the courage and will to pursue it. Now come with me, America. Follow me on this pursuit. Can you feel it, America? It burns. I literally feel like there is a weight on my shoulders as we speak. Do you feel that weight, America? It's the weight of responsibility. And we each must stand forth and rise on the wings of eagles carried in the hearts of lions and reared by the oxen of determination. We need to talk. 